Hey guys, Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sandia. I was just admiring this new limited edition Midnight Blue Sleeker Iron, which is only around for a short time, so don't miss it. The point of today's video is to share something that's kind of a cool discovery. I was kind of thinking, I wonder, can I create volume in the hair by using the flat iron, kind of like we were taught to use rollers in hair school? The answer is yes. So the question might be, well, why even bother use a flat iron to create volume? And for us, a lot of times, the question is why not? Because you might find something that's easier for you, it might be easier for your guests to achieve at home. So we encourage you to experiment, to try and see what you can do. So if you take yourself back to beauty school, you'll remember that roller sets taught us how to elevate hair in relationship to the scalp to create the most volume on base, right? So when we look at the section, when we take our section just like we would in beauty school, our elevation is going to be 45 degrees above that 90 degree point because what happens is as the hair gets curled, it gives it that lift. So with a flat iron, we played with this and found a couple ways that this can work. You can even just gently take the iron and just lay it in there and just use the heat and work to that 45 degrees above the horizontal. Now, what you'll notice is that will just give it this little pop off the scalp. Let me turn her sideways so you can see that. So you'll see that that'll just create that little pop off the scalp. Now, if you want to amplify that, take your section, elevate that to the 45, prep it just by giving it a little bit of heat up at that 45 above the 90, and then gently actually give it a little curl right there at the base. Now you'll notice that it does give you a little bit of a crease in the texture. Don't worry, that crease is okay because look where it is. It's underneath hair on top. So by putting that extra little pop underneath the stuff that lays on top of it, it will bounce that top upward. So let's continue up the head. We're using about a quarter inch section. And again, just take that section. We're working with the natural fall of the hair. So we don't want to lift it out this way because that's going to create a crease that kind of kicks the hair back. We want to lift the hair directly up from where it naturally lives. So we'll lift that 45, use the iron to just give a little bit of heat, then just gently give it that little curl at the base. And let that cool, because remember back to beauty school, hair is still forming as it curls. Up at the 45, heat a little bit, give it a little curl right at that base. Let's do that one more time. Just being really cautious to make sure you're working in the natural fall. Don't comb through, let it cool. Once you start to get a little higher on the head, that's where you wanna be a little bit more careful with how much of a crease you're putting in. So on these next few sections, you'll notice will be a little more subtle. Right here, because it could be exposed, I'm going to just take the iron and you're just going to gently go above the 45. Look how far that is, that's up and over the head and just use the iron to introduce some heat because this could expose a crease. We're not going to crease the hair. We're just going to let it have that little bit of bump at the base, but because there's that crease underneath it, that's going to still pop the hair upward. Now here at the top, remember, make sure you're working with how the hair wants to naturally fall. So play around with that crown a little bit, make sure the hair's going in the direction that you want it to fall, then work opposite to the natural fall. So since this hair wants to fall this way, when you pick that up, you'll lift it up and across in that same direction. I'm sure you're all probably wanting to see what it would look like if we went ahead and put that extra little bump in the curl. So I'm gonna do it for you. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. Being pretty gentle there. I almost combed through, don't comb through, let it cool. Okay, now that it's cold, now we can give it a little shake, a little tossle. And this isn't going to give her like a huge, huge amount of volume, but what it's gonna do is it's just gonna take something that's gonna wanna lay really flat to the head 
and give it some air and give it some puff. So again, should you use a flat iron to volume hair? SMV, our goal is never to tell you what is the right way and what's the wrong way to do something. Our goal is always to give you fresh ideas that's gonna keep you excited as you work at the chair. So hope this little tip gave you something to play with the next time you're at the chair. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for SAMVIA.